Ah. Ah, okay. Playing games. Mess is retracted. Mess is retracted. Ah, well, you still got my address on there. What are you, are you stalking me? Are you stalking me? I'm um, Joey. Well, Joey. She, Joey says that he's my ex landlord, and I asked him one question or her one question. Who was the first person you rented to downstairs from me on Green Street? Well, said Mike. Nope, Mike didn't. Nope, Mike would not rent from her. Huh. Jeez. Imagine that. And Mike was a slob. When Mike moved out of his trailer house, it took them three weeks to clean it out. And then when they found a dead cat, they all ran out puking. He had a dead cat in his back bedroom for about six years. He had a brand new bed back there. And that the maggots were so bad, infested so bad, that they ate through his mattress where the dead cat died. The cat died underneath his bed. So, it, I mean, it piled up so high or whatever that the maggots were infested into his mattress. They took the whole thing and threw it out in a dumpster. So he lost a lot of shit because Mike was the kind of guy that he didn't throw all this garbage. He had a fucking tree growing out of his garbage can. I'm like, I was kind of pissed because Mike cut the tree down. It was going to be, I, I think it was uh, going to be uh, a mulberry tree. And he cut it down. Like, Mike, why did you cut that tree down from your garbage can? Duh, I'm not going to have no mutants coming out of my garbage can. Because <laughs> that, that garbage was there for over 12 years. Imagine that. The garbage in the garbage can was there for 12 years. The can split open. Somehow, uh, a tree started growing in there and busted out the root. System busted up through the bottom and started growing into the ground. You know? I go, Mike, you got a got. What are you doing with your garbage? And then I went inside there. I'm like, oh my God. He had garbage up to four feet high, five feet high. And he just kept stomping it down, kicking it, you know, and stomping it. And his toilet fell through the floor. And I said, Mike, one of these times I had a key to his door. And one of these times I'm going to go in there and I'm going to videotape this shit. And I'm going to show everybody how you live. Yeah. Friends, how many of us have them? Yeah, they actually, they when he moved out, they tore down that place. This trailer, they tore it down. They didn't try saving none of it. They tore it down and removed it. Yeah. The place across from him, they tore it down board by board and Saved all the siding and everything, but his, they demolished it and got rid of it. They didn't save nothing. Uh, uh. YouTube call kids subscribe. So Mike is the wrong answer, Annie. I am calling Jeremy. Was the uh, hey Joy? What is your issue? Joy, seriously. What is your issue? Oh, well, we got another person out here. So is it Joey and Valerie? Or Valerie, you back?
because it all, well, there's two people on there. Two people. Joey claims to be my ex landlord because that's the title of my video. Uh, let's see, my ex landlord comes back on here because I just want one question to her. What did you do with the money that I gave you to clean my old apartment and have my stuff removed? That was my question. That's it. Because she's talking about suing me again for slander or whatever. And I'm like, okay, uh, so what, you need more money because you don't want to work and that... Uh, you want to clean up the downstairs or you, you want to fix up the downstairs because all the holes in the walls and the smashed up cabinets and that. She tried to tell the judge that I made the downstairs unlivable. No. Her previous tenants that lived downstairs below me demolished the whole goddamn place. Why? Because she would not fix nothing. It's called rebelling. Bye.